alaikum guys welcome back to my channel i pray that you are all in the best of health and iman if you are new welcome to nafisa's pulse thank you so much for dropping by today i make videos on islam lifestyle sisters content that kind of stuff so if you're interested in getting a little bit of me then hit the subscribe button down below and join our family and yeah without further ado guys today's video i'm talking about gratitude a lot has happened to me recently that has sort of been making me think along the lines of gratitude and how i can myself practice gratitude a lot more so i thought i would share these tips with you guys and inshallah it would benefit you as well so without further ado let's jump straight into the video okay so a few weeks ago um, I experienced something which really prompted, first prompted me to want to make this video and that was that I was on my way from work and I saw that one of my neighbours, we always usually say salam to each other, she was struggling with her shopping, she's quite an older sister and um, I just thought let me walk up so that I can help her with her bags and when I reached her and I asked her you know if she would mind me helping her if she was okay she said yes and she gave me one of her bags to hold and then she said um, she was actually just coming home from hospital um, where she was receiving chemotherapy because she has cancer. At that point I didn't even know what to say guys. I was just so devastated but she didn't really seem bothered by it and she said you know she was struggling to hold her bags because, her, because of her hands and she showed me her hands and they looked they looked burnt and they looked really painful and sore and I said to her you know maybe you should try one of those trolleys instead of holding the bags onto your hands and she said yes because um, she usually does that but um, her sister who is blind is at home waiting for her so she, you know on her way back from hospital she thought she'd go and get some food so she had some takeaways in those bags and that was what she was carrying so heavy but then she said Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah I'm grateful to Allah for everything Alhamdulillah anything that happens Alhamdulillah and you know when someone says Alhamdulillah with such sincerity like you hear it in the Alhamdulillah Subhanallah that that made me go home and really reflect on my life and just think people like this are the type of people that me and you are competing for Jannah with and that's not to say that there isn't enough space in Jannah to ac accommodate everybody that's just to say that if someone like that who is going through so much trial can be grateful to Allah then me and you've got no excuse we've really got no excuse and it made me realize that I just wasn't doing enough when it came to being grateful to Allah so if anything that sister she inspires she really did inspire me and if she ever watches this video i just want to let you know that you have no idea what that one phrase did to my heart may allah grant you shifa so on my reflection i remembered a um an ayah of the quran and i'm going to paraphrase here because i don't remember it word for word whereby allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that when mankind is in need of Allah they call out to Allah standing sitting laying down in any case they call out to Allah and Allah help me Allah help me Allah I'm in need of you I'm in need of you we go out of our ways we do extra good deeds we pray our salah on time all of a sudden Quran reading everything is on point and as soon as Allah grants us what we need we turn our backs on him and again I'm paraphrasing here where Allah says it is as though they are ungrateful or is it as though they are ungrateful and it's true it's actually a sign of ingratitude and all of us I think if we're honest with ourselves can say that there was a time when we really needed Allah but as soon as Allah gave us what we wanted and we Allah put us in ease we kind of forgot him in a way you know we stopped doing as much as we used to do at the time when we felt that we really needed Allah and I was really feeling bad about that and I was really just trying to say to myself I need to make a conscious effort of maintaining the good deeds that I'm doing whether I am in difficulty or whether I'm in ease just trying to maintain that as a means of showing Allah that actually oh Allah I'm grateful for everything that you're doing because let's just think about it this way between ourselves as human beings if you have a friend who never ever calls you they never ask how you are they couldn't care less the last time you heard from them was like years ago 
and all of a sudden your phone is ringing 10 times an hour you know they're bugging you they're dming you all of a sudden now they found you on facebook on whatsapp and whatnot because they really needed something from you and once you you know they got in touch with you you asked them what you what, what it was that they needed you were able to offer them help and as soon as they got the help that was it you never heard from them again how would you feel i'm sure we would all feel used right but it's funny because this is what we do with allah you know and i know it doesn't mean to say that we never pray again or whatever but it's still a sign of ingratitude if we're going to do all of that to gain, gain something from allah then we must make an effort to maintain it even in times of good now back to the story about the sister what she really made me realize was that sometimes allah tests us right and we go through difficulties and we think it's the end of us and we think it's going to destroy us and it's hard enough even trying to accept that this is a trial Allah has placed on us. But it's another level to show Allah that we are grateful for what Allah has given us. And subhanAllah, may Allah help all of our brothers and sisters across the world who are struggling and going through difficulties. I mean. So now I'm just going to discuss three main ways that I like to practice being grateful to Allah. And the first is by praying to Hajjud. You know, this is a sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam to practice and pray to Hajjud at night. And the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, we all know, was already promised Jannah to Firdaus. He was already promised Jannah. His sins have already been erased. They have already been forgiven. And he knew that whilst he was alive. But despite this, it was a practice that he would stand in the night to pray to Hajjud to a point where his feet will swell and his eyes will be swollen and he would cry so much that people would ask him, you know, why are you doing this? You know, you've been promised Jannah already. Why are you actually doing this? And his response was, shall I not be grateful to Allah? You know, it's one thing worshipping Allah because we're scared of him. And we feel like we have to worship him. But it's another thing worshipping Allah because he deserves to be worshipped. We want to reverence him and we want to praise him. And we want to show him that Allah, I'm grateful for what, you're, what you've done for me. You know, I know tahajjud is something that people tend to do when they're going through difficulties. And it's good. It's the time when Allah accepts du'as. But how about just making it a practice in our everyday lives, something to do, just even you wake up 10 minutes before Fajr to just pray two rakats and just thank Allah. Just thank Allah. You know, it will go a long way in my opinion. So something that I'm really trying to practice and knowing that if I do that in times of ease, then Allah will support me in times of difficulty as well. So inshallah, try to pray tahajjud and in your tahajjud just be grateful to Allah and say to Allah all of the things that you are grateful for that he's doing for you in your life. Okay, the next sunnah is actually a sunnah that I did not hear of until quite recently, probably like a year, two years ago. And it's called sujood ashukur. Sujood ashukur is basically a sajda that you do in times when you hear good news. And it was a practice of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that whenever he would hear a good news or good news would come to him, something that pleased him, he will fall down where he is onto the floor and make sajda. And it's just one sajda that you make, you just make it as you would any, you know, any regular sajda and you make a dua, whatever dua of your choice, whatever you want to say, Allah, thank you for this, whatever. And then that's it. You don't have to have wudu to make um, sujood as shukur. You don't even have to be you know facing the Qibla although it's a good practice to you but you don't have to face the Qibla and I never knew that this actually existed so that was something I recently found out about and since then I've been trying to practice it and so I encourage you guys to practice it as well it's actually I think it's a dying sunnah because I don't hear much about it I don't hear you know a lot of people talking about this you know sujood as shukur and if you want to find out more information about it please do your own research and ask people of knowledge about um you know the authentication of the hadith and all of that but i've done my research and i'm quite content that this you know this is from a sound hadith and this is something that you know the prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam used to practice a lot to show allah that he was grateful you know so let us try to practice sujood as shukur inshallah it will help you know in improving our condition with allah in allah knowing that we are always grateful to him and gratitude is something that we put ahead of ourselves inshallah so the next thing that i would like to discuss is that we all know that we cannot be grateful to allah if we're not grateful to each other and that is true because if you cannot recognize a blessing 
from your fellow human being on that lower level of human to human how is it that we can recognize even the greater blessings which are the ones that come from Allah you know it would be very difficult for us to do that so try to be grateful for the people in your life whom Allah has used have been good to you so my next point is that we really have to stop taking each other for granted I think we really do take each other for granted and we forget the good people whom Allah placed in our lives to bless us. Let us be grateful for each other, you know, if we can't be grateful to each other for the good things that we do to one another, how can we be grateful to Allah? You know, being grateful to another human being is sort of on a lower level of gratitude. That is one thing and if we can't even recognise that, how, how can we recognize the greater blessings that Allah has brought upon us you know Allah's blessings is much higher than the than that of a human being obviously so you know it starts off low and it's something that we can continue to build so inshallah let us try to practice grat gratitude so much more and um, please guys I would just like to say make dua for this sister who is sick and for her blind sister make may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ease for them their burden May Allah grant them re relief from their trials and all of our brothers and sisters across the world who are going through difficulties, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ease, ease for them their difficulties and we seek refuge in Allah from being tested with more than what we can cope with and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make all of our affairs easy for us. Ameen. Jazakallah hey for watching the video guys. That is all I have for you today. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I will reply, I promise. Oh guys, by the way, before I forget, you know I, um, I'm a volunteer for Al Buruj. Well, they're gonna have an event coming up soon, inshallah, in January 2018. And uh, inshallah, once I have more information, I will let you guys know. And it is happening in London. So if you live in London and you're able to attend, then I will soon, probably in my next video, have more information about it for you. But it is a day conference um, by Yasmin Mujahid, who is the author of Reclaim Your Heart. She is going to be coming to London to give this day conference. It's going to be really, really good, guys. I hope you'll be able to attend, inshallah. So just giving you a heads up on that. So yeah, Jazakallah hey for watching, guys. Let me love you and leave you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.